everybody. Welcome to today's edition of the Gamut Network. We have somebody on the show today that's coming to us all the way from Texas. He is the same age as my son, Oliver, so I can't wait to kind of hear the differences between the guest today and, and the antics of, of Oliver. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome Zachary to the show. Hi, Zachary. Hi. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me. Of course. Now, tell us where you live in Texas. I live in Monahans, Texas. Monahans, Texas, which is near what big city? Uh, near Midland, Odessa. Okay, perfect. So, Zachary, tell us a little bit about who you are. Well, I was born with spina bifida, which is where your spine doesn't form all the way. So when I was less than a day old, they had to go in and close my spine. And I was also born with hydrocephalus and it wasn't getting any better, but it wasn't getting any worse. So they had to put a shunt in my head to help drain out all the bad stuff. Tell us a little bit about it, what exactly that is. That's where there's water in your brain and it just keeps filling up and filling up. And it's really bad for you so the shunt just helps drain it out into your body. And do you still have the shunt in your head? Yes. Got it. So you can grow with that or do you have to have it replaced? Uh, I can grow with it. The only time I have to get it replaced is if it breaks. Got it. And have you broken it? Yes. In fifth grade, I had to get it replaced. And did, is there a good story behind how you broke it? Did you do something crazy and wild? Not really. It was just one day my teacher realized that I was really tired in class and told my mom. So we went and got it checked out and it turned out it was broken. So we went to the hospital and got it fixed. Well, that's a really good teacher that yes. was, you know, so, so aware of who you are as a student. But maybe we could come up with a fun story that you did try to do like a double backflip off of your wheelchair and <laughs> broke your broke your shot. Um, so now here we are. Um, you are 16. Have you always gone to the same school or have you had to move schools as you've gotten older? I've gone to the same school ever since I was little. Do you think that, um, how do you think your friends view you? What would be some adjectives that they would use to describe Zachary? Pretty crazy. Crazy? Why? Give us a story. How are you crazy? I just do anything. My friends dare me to do something. Usually something stupid, but I do it. Oh gosh, Zachary. You both put your mom through the, the ringer of worry. And Sometimes. have you grown up with these these boys and girls? Yep, I've so grown they, up with them all my life. Yeah, and so they just know you as Zachary. Yep. Not not the kid with spina bifida or you know anything else about you. You're just Zach. They just see me as me, not my wheelchair, not my disability. Amazing. Sounds like pretty awesome friends. Yes, ma'am. Yes. And do you um, tell me how you like manage through being 16? Ha have you had any experiences that maybe you could share with somebody that, you know, is watching this and just younger and struggling with having spina bifida? What do you want to tell them about what life is like at 16? Don't be afraid to try new things. Someone tells you you can't do it. Just turn around, tell them, watch this. <laughs> Have you done something like that where somebody said you can't do it and you said, watch this? All the time. All the time? Oh, goodness. Like, give us an example. Something that's safe. We don't want anybody doing anything nuts. Oh, like track. A bunch of kids told me that I couldn't do track. I said, watch this. And now I'm on my varsity track team as a freshman. It's unbelievable. So let's talk about all the things that you do. I know that you do track and field, you do archery. Uh, what else? What am I missing? Um, I do theater. Theater, thank you. 
Um, so let's start with theater. What what uh, shows have you been in? What type of theater do you like to do? I started in seventh grade and we did a play. I forgot what it was called, but it was about it was a drama about little orphan kids in New Orleans. Mm. And they had to find a place to live. And what was your role? I was the rich mean guy that tried to kick him out. <laughs> and how, how do you think it went? Do you think you convinced people? Yes. Yes, I could see that. I definitely could see that. From an accessibility perspective, how are they um, accommodating on the stage that you have ramps and all of that? They make it easy for you? Yes, and my teachers, I've known them since I was like fourth grade, so they know how I am. They know I'm very independent, but if there's anything I need, I always ask. That's a very good quality because, you know, that would be certainly a, a deterrent or potentially a, a, a block if you didn't ask for help and look where it has gotten you. We definitely have to give a shout out to your teachers for, for being so supportive and awesome. What is the next uh, show that you are doing? Um, we are doing a show, of, it's 1984. Oh, amazing. And what role are you playing in that? I am playing Emmanuel Goldstein. Fantastic. Is it going to be in person or virtual? Like, can we it's see gonna it? It's going to be in person. It's oh. tonight, actually. Good luck. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. What a big day. Yes, ma'am. Do you have a lot of lines? I have one line. And how do you prepare? Like, do you get nervous? Do you have to take a minute before you go on stage? I just shake out the nerves. Love it. Fantastic. Okay, so already that's one thing that probably somebody said you can't be an actor. Let's talk about track and field. I know that you run uh, the 100 and 400, or uh, do it in your wheelchair, roll it. How, how um, what was that like, like your very first track meet? It felt amazing. I didn't do too good, but that moment I fell in love with the sport. And I know from my daughter, who also was on track and field in high school, um, she absolutely had competitors um, that were in wheelchairs. Are you competing against able-bodied kids? No, I'm competing against other kids that are also in wheelchairs. Amazing. And so now that you are more experienced, tell me like what your, how fast do you do the 100? The 100, I run it in 21 seconds. Wow. And how did that compare from the first time you did it? The first time it was like 40 seconds. So. Oh my gosh, so you cut it in half. Yes, ma'am. Wow. So what are your what are your goals? What would be your ideal time? Mm, like 15 seconds. Yeah, oh my gosh. What's the record for school? The record is like 13. Oh my goodness. That is really exciting. And how about for the 400? I know my time is like a minute and a half, minute 20. Mm -hmm. The record is like less than a minute. Wow. Okay. So, well, you still have two more years because you're a sophomore. Yes, so maybe by senior year, you'll, you'll break the record. That'd be really exciting. You have to come back on the show if you break the record. Yes, ma'am. Deal? Deal. Okay, thank you. And last is archery. Tell us a little bit about that. I got into archery in the third grade and I've loved it ever since. And is that a um, competitive sport at your school? Like, do you do competitions? Yes, it's, I have a 4-H club and we go to competitions all the time. It's amazing. Wow, you have a very busy schedule, my friend. Yes, ma'am. And do you keep up with your studies? Mm -hmm. Most of the time. Most of the time? Okay, that's fair. You're 16. I, I, I respect that. And do we have plans to go to college? Yes. But is there like a dream school? I have two dream schools, either Arizona or Alabama. 
University of Arizona and University of Alabama. Yes. Both very good schools. Good. I like it. I, I don't know which one I'm cheering for for you, but I, I hope that you get into both and you have to, the difficult decision to decide which one you're going to go to. Me too. Yeah. So I like to end every interview um, talking about something that's really important to me, which is the ability to manifest or make things happen in our life via a vision board, which is where you kind of put your hopes and dreams and images uh, in one place to make them happen. If we got to look onto Zachary's vision board, what would we see? What are the hopes and dreams and plans for the future? First, go to college compete in track and field in college. And then beyond that, I want to become an Olympic champion in track and field. Love it. I, I think you're on your way. And which one would you do? Both of 100 and 400? Yes. And you could do archery also, right? Yes, ma'am. Well, guess what? I'll be cheering on the sidelines when you, when you get there, because I have no doubt that you are going to get there and it'll be really exciting. I'm going to pull up this interview and I'm going to say, I knew him when, <laughs> is that a good, is that a deal? Deal. Perfect. Well, it was so nice getting to know you. I am, I'm so thrilled that you wrote in and were on the show because I think it's really important to show other kids out there, everything that you have accomplished and will accomplish in your lifetime and it was has been a real joy to get to know you thank you you too and good luck tonight thank you amazing if you would like to be on the gamut network please email us at talent at gamutmanagement.com to tell us why you'd be a great guest please also don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at the gamut network as well as follow us on social media at gamut management thank you again zach Thank you. Bye. Bye.